Hello everyone, it's Bogdog, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use World Edit in Minecraft 1.20.4. I've made a lot of videos about how to use World Edit in Minecraft, and they all seem to do pretty well, so I figured I'd make another one for Minecraft 1.20.4. Uh, not much has changed since the last Minecraft version, but uh, I am just going to be giving you a quick rundown as to all the um, basic World Edit commands. Um, so this is kind of like a beginner's guide to World Edit for Minecraft 1.20.4. The first command we're going to learn how to use is the wand command. I'm already holding a wand in my hand, but if you want a wand, you just need to enter slash slash wand, and it'll give you a wand. So now I have two wands. Um, another quick FYI is you need to download World Edit in order for this tutorial to work at all. Um, if you don't have Word Edit downloaded, you need to download it and then come back to this video. Um, another thing you need to do is you need to enable cheats in your world. Um, Oh, a lot of people tell me that World Edit does, does not work, and this is, like, the only reason why. You need to have cheats enabled in your world. Uh, you can do that when you're first creating the world, but if you already have a world that doesn't have cheats enabled, there's a pretty simple hack to get around that. You can hit Escape, click Open to LAN, and as you can see here, you can say Allow Cheats On. So even if you want it to still be survival, you can still allow cheats, and it will go ahead and work. Um, so anyways, just click Start LAN World, and then you'll be able to use word edit with cheats um that's pretty much all i have to do and that's really the only reason why word edit should not be working for you anyways once you have your wand right here it's time to learn the stats command so to, you to do that you just want to click a block on the ground and click another block on the ground and um that will set your position uh, and you can set positions however big or small you want um, and all you have to do is just do set, and we can pick any block, so we'll pick bricks, and hit enter. And as you can see, this area is now a brick. Um, you don't have to just keep things on the ground, though, so, like, we can also do it in the air. Um, so, like, we can make it four blocks tall or whatever. We can set it as bricks, and then you can go ahead and have a whole cube set as bricks. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing you can do is you can actually undo things. So if you don't like this, you can just do undo and it'll undo that. And if you don't like that, you can just undo that and it'll undo that. Um, one thing to note though is these stairs are still here. And the reason these stairs are here is because I manually placed them. So World Edit only takes away things that World Edit creates. It will not destroy things that you actually uh, touch or place. So that's just a quick little FYI there. Another thing that you could do is you could make a wall with what it is. So like we have our little wall right here. Let me grab an actual block because I'm not holding a single real block in my hand. Um, so like you could make a wall by just selecting a position and then we can make it a wall of bricks. So you just type in walls, bricks, and then boom, you have your brick wall. And that is pretty cool right there. Um, another feature that you can use is a stack feature. So, like, if you want to go ahead and stack this, um, stairs, we want to make that go all the way down to the end, we can just select it, and then we can do stack 8 forward, or 8F, and it'll stack it 8 forward. Um, so, like, if you want to do it 10 forward, you can do it 10 forward, and that's how, um, much you need to stack it for that. So, that's pretty much how you use the stack command, um... So another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and replace different blocks. So let me just go ahead and clear this rain right here. And this weather clear command is not part of War Edit. You can do that with vanilla Minecraft. But anyways, you want to select a region again. And you want to replace the bricks. Um, and I'm not typing out bricks correctly. That's why it's not working. With birch plagues. And there we go. Now, as you can see here, our brick house thingy has turned into a birch plank um, house thingy. So, that's pretty cool right there. That's pretty much all you have to do to use the replace command. Copy, paste, and rotate commands. So, we have our little thing right here, our house, but it's time to copy and paste and rotate it. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to copy it. So, to do that, you can um, select a region here. So we'll just go ahead and select this region. And just a little side note, you can actually stand up in the air and do position 1. And then you can stand here on the ground and do position 2. This is really useful because that way you don't have to place blocks to select a position. You can just stand in the air and do it. And that's for just things that you don't need an exact position for. Um, but anyways, you want to do slash slash copy. 
and then you want to go ahead and um, have it copied. And now if you hit slash slash paste, as you can see right here, we have it pasted. Uh, one very important thing to note though is you always want to make sure you know the location that you're copying it from because that will affect the location of where you paste it from. So I always like to use like the um, bottom left corner when I'm copying and pasting something. That way when I paste it, I know that it's going to go like to the right and forward um, since I'm pasting it from the bottom left corner. Now you can also rotate this, so like you can rotate it 90 degrees and now you rotate yourself 90 degrees and in case you don't know about rotation this is 90 degrees so like i'm facing forward right now so this is where we're starting out this is 90 degrees rotated okay so we're, we're looking to the right now this is 180 degrees rotated so like we're looking behind us and this here is 270 degrees rotated so like we're looking over at these buildings here uh so we rotated it 90 so if we paste it again, then as you can see, it'll go ahead and paste um, to 90 degrees from where we were at. Now another command that you can learn how to use is the redo command. So the redo command is very similar to undo. So like if we want to undo what we just did right there, and then we're like, uh-oh, I want that back. You can just do redo, and it'll go ahead and redo it. Um, so that is pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory there. And then I think that the last thing to go over, I think I remembered all the basic commands, is the schematic command. So we're going to do slash slash schematic, and you can actually like name schematics, and um, you know, that's kind of a whole video all in itself. But if you have a schematic, you can just load it up. So we're going to load up this fall tree schematic right here. Oh, it didn't work. There you go. So just load up our schematic right here, and then it, it'll just paste it. Um, so you can just do paste like right, right there and it'll paste your schematic um, like that now um, Depending on What you do with the schematic like that also depends where you copy and paste it from so like if you copy it right here Then when you paste it, it you're gonna paste it right here if you copy it like up here when you paste it It's gonna paste right there and that's pretty much all you have to do in order to um, you know Use Word Edit in Minecraft 1.20.4. Um, I think I cover all the basic commands. If I missed any, please let me know. Um, I do feel like I am forgetting one, but I don't know. I, I just feel like I covered all of them at the same time. I can't remember any other ones. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.